For more tutorials, videos, and reviews, check out creatingtracks.com. Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com and this is what we're gonna do today. Okay, sweet, very cool stuff. So let's go into Serum, Menu, Initialize Preset, and I'm gonna go into the Sub Oscillator, turn that on, pitch it down by one octave, and bring down the level all the way. Let's go into Oscillator A, pick a digital wow, and I'm gonna bring up the WT position to about right here, and we're gonna reduce the level all the way, and I'm gonna select the Sync No Window on the Warp, and then we can go to oscillator B, grab a analog basic shapes. And I'm gonna bring this up to six voices, detune it a little less, bring the WT position to four till you see this waveform right here. And in the warp, we're gonna grab FM from A. So it's gonna grab FM from the this oscillator, oscillator A. So for now, I'm not gonna move this so you can hear what it sounds like, and this is what this waveform with six unison voices sounds like. All right, and with the FM from A. Okay, so for now, I'm gonna turn the level all the way down, and we're gonna modulate these levels with our LFO one right here. And so let's go ahead and pick a filter. I'm gonna grab the normal high 18 and turn on the B oscillator right here. Bring down the cutoff to about 150 Hertz or something close to there. And with the resonance, we can bring it up to close to 50%. And let's bring up the drive to 15% and the fat to 30%. So if I play anything, there won't be any sound because all the levels are all the way down. So we're gonna use the first LFO and modulate those levels. So let's go in LFO one, click on this trig over here and grab this point and bring this over here till about this line. And then we're gonna click and drag this point up here. So we're gonna have a quick but smooth attack. And then we can click and drag this LFO on our level of oscillator B then to the sub oscillator level. And then we can grab it, put it on the cutoff, click and drag it to about right here. And let's also grab it and put it on the WT position and bring it down just a little bit. So check it out. So you can shape this according to your own preference, but I'm gonna keep it like this. And the next thing we're gonna do is, I think that's good enough for our uh, sound design over here. And yeah, let's pitch this oscillator B down by one octave. Okay, cool, so let's go in our effects tab and I'm gonna grab the hyper dimension, compressor, and filter. And for now, I'm gonna just turn off the compressor and the filter. So in the hyper dimension, I'm gonna grab all these knobs and Bring them to about 10, 11 o'clock. Something like right here, 40, 45%. I'm also gonna bring down the master volume. All right, so now let's go to the compressor, turn on the multiband. I'm going to increase the threshold quite a bit for now and increase the release to anywhere over 400, and then the gain to about 50%, or like 19 dB. And then I'm gonna play the note and bring the threshold down till it's pretty close to clipping, but not really clipping. So that red right there, that's bad. So just till about there, so that we're not in the red zone. 
Then let's turn on the filter. Let's grab a multi LPH12. I'm going to bring down the cutoff till about 150 hertz or something like that. And the resonance up to 45%. I'm going to bring up the drive to about 30% and the morph to about 60 or 70%. And also bring down the mix to about 50%. Okay, that's really cool and we're getting close to our sound. So grab the LFO one, put it on the cutoff, bring this down. So that kind of gives us character to our attack. All right, and the last thing I want to do is modulate the master tuning. And we can do that in the matrix tab. And you can see all these LFOs that we've assigned to all these knobs. And we've assigned five LFOs to five knobs. So you can see these five LFOs are assigned to one, two, three, four, and in the effects tab, five. Five knobs, alpha one to five different parameters. And now you can, uh, you can see these values over here too. So I'm gonna click on this empty space and grab an LFO two. And on this empty space right here, we're gonna grab global master tuning. And now we can control the master tuning with our LFO two. So in the LFO2, we're gonna click on Trig, and I'm also going to click on this point, bring it very close to the beginning, but not all the way. Uh, kind of over here, click and drag this point up, so fast and smooth attack. And then we can click on this thing and decide how much we wanna pitch it. So I'm gonna push it to three. No, three. Come on. Okay, three. And then we can change the rate so that it's uh, it descends slower. So click on this rate, bring it down to one bar. All right, very, very cool. So now we can go in our oscillator tab and start placing our macros everywhere. So I'm gonna take my macro one and let's rename this to LFO rate. And then we can grab this macro and place it on the rate of our LFO one. Click and drag this down to about 12 or 14 or something like that. And then we can control our weight with our macro. And then the second one, we can name it pitch and grab this pitch and put it on the sink. And I'm gonna click and drag this down to about here. All right, and then the third one, we can name it cutoff, place it on our filter cutoff, click and drag this down a bit. And then we can go on the fourth macro, place it on our rate again, bring it down, place that on our sync again, bring that down. Then we can place it on our WT position, bring that down towards here, or just do anything random so that we can control a bunch of things with one knob. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and definitely stay tuned for more until next week. Peace.